we're doing a poppy playtime build challenge, but I'm gonna be secretly using hacks to troll my friend. Using the command slash slash paste, I can instantly spawn in this massive dog day build. And little does my friend know, I'm gonna be filling up the entire build with a whole bunch of traps to prank him. But now let's go check out my friend GE. And GE, uh, w where are you? <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe you fell for that. Why would you scare me? Ah! But Bubbles, what in the world are we doing today? We're going to be doing a dog day build challenge. Dog day? That's super cool. But wait a second. What side are you going to go on? The green side or the blue side? Well, since less of the green side was destroyed, I'm going to go on the green side. The green side. The green side. <laughs> okay, fine, GE. The blue side is better anyway. That's so cap, Bubbles. But we only have 10 minutes to build this. So let's get building. 10 minutes. Go, go, go. Now that GE can't hear me anymore, I can go ahead and type in the command. And oh my god, our dog day build just spawned in. He looks super duper scary which is perfect because we're way ahead of ge but we got no time to waste because we gotta put in some traps and for the first trap i'm gonna be putting in a fake entrance where should i put it hmm oh i think it would be hilarious if we put it right inside of dog day's mouth so let's just break out a few blocks just like this and put some secret doors disguised as emerald blocks emeralds are ge's favorite so this is definitely gonna lure him into our trap because this is the fake entrance we're gonna be making a treasure that's completely fake let's go ahead and build out the room first there we go and now we gotta put a little obstacle in here to make it completely believable and for that we're just gonna be making a large pool of lava that GE's gonna have to get across. We can't be making it too hard though, because we want GE to fall for our trap. To get to the other side, GE's gonna have to use his webhook launcher right inside of this item frame. All he has to do is shoot it to the other side and he can swing across just like Spider-Man. With all that set up, we can now put down his fake treasure. Let's sneak a little command block right underneath the trap chest. And now when GE opens it up to collect his prize, a huge boxy boo's gonna spawn in. And oh my goodness, this boxy boo does so much damage. Ah! Ah! That was way too scary. Make sure to stick around to see GE get super duper spooked. But just like that, my fake entrance is completed. And before building the real one, I'm gonna go check on GE to see how he's doing. I secretly placed one-way glass on the other side of the competition. So let me just break out a few blocks into the wall just like this. And look at that, I can see GE building. All right, just a few more blocks. And there we go. My dog day looks super good. What do you think of it, Mr. Pufferfish? What the? Why is GE talking to a pufferfish? Has he gone insane? Wait a second. You don't like it? Get out of here. What the heck? But little does Bubbles know, I'm gonna place a ton of traps here in my entire build with this super secret treasure at the end. And we only have eight minutes left to build this, so this is going perfect. Wait a second, did he say eight minutes? I gotta get back to my build. All right, we gotta move fast. We already have the fake entrance completed, so now it's time to put in the real one. And I was thinking maybe I put the real entrance inside of his necklace, but I think that would be a little bit too obvious. So instead, we're gonna put it right below it. He'll never guess that it'll be inside of his zipper. And just to make it even more hidden, we're gonna cover it up with a whole bunch of ghost blocks. And whoa, look at that. You can't even tell that anything's there. All right, now it's time to build our first official trap. For the first trap, I'm gonna be making a Poppy Playtime toy factory. And this toy factory is gonna be super duper scary. Let's make the first make a friend toy machine right over here. And we'll even give it some super creepy eyes, just like this. And then we'll make the second one yellow right over here. And this one's gonna have some even scarier crooked eyes. Whoa, it looks like they're literally staring at me while I'm building. Let's hurry up and make a roof for the toy factory. There we go. To make it out of the toy factory, GE's gonna have to decide if he wants to go on the conveyor belt on the red machine or the conveyor belt on the yellow machine. And since I think the color red is pretty cool because it reminds me of Boxy Boo, it's gonna be the correct answer, which leaves the yellow machine to be the wrong one. So let's build out the rest of these conveyor belts just like this. And at the end, we're gonna make him drop into a room made out of super secure bedrock. And I think it would be super hilarious if we filled the room with a whole bunch of lava spikes. Let's test if this works real quick. And look at that, we're literally getting moved toward the lava spikes. Oh my yeah, I can't wait to see GE fall for this trap. But now that we're done with the yellow machine, we can move on to building the red machine. This side is gonna be super simple because all we're gonna do is just build it to make it go to the next room. There we go. And just like that, our Poppy Playtime toy factory is completed. Make sure you guys stick around to see if GE chooses the right conveyor belt. Alright, for the second trap of my build, it's gonna be a boss fight. GE will have to fight a super OP mob boss, and the only way he can get through is by defeating it. So let's go ahead and put out a room big enough for the super scary mob boss. And we also have to put down some super secure iron bars to make sure that the mob boss doesn't escape and destroy everything. There we go, and wow, this room is looking super good. And now to help me spawn in the mob boss, you have to hit that like and subscribe button in 3, 2, one, thank you for subscribing and oh my goodness, this guy looks super duper scary. And that axe looks insanely powerful too. Let's hurry up and cover it up. I have no idea how GE is going to be able to defeat this guy, but we're going to have to help him out by putting some items inside of this chest right over here. But the thing is, it's going to be password protected. Let's put the password to 5544, something that he'll never guess. Then inside of the chest, we're going to give him a full set of emerald armor and even an emerald sword. He's going to be super happy since emeralds are his favorite. For him to figure out the password, he's going to have to decide if he wants to pull the lever 
on the left or the lever on the right. And because right is usually right, we're gonna make the right one the wrong one. Let's go ahead and put a command block right underneath it. And now when GE goes to pull this lever, he's just gonna be teleported right inside of the cage with this super massive troll. What the heck? As for the left lever, if he pulls it, a little piece of paper is gonna pop out and right on top is gonna be the secret code. And all right, looks like our boss fight room is completed. Make sure you guys wait to see if GE is able to defeat this super scary ice troll. But for now, let's go ahead and build our third trap in our build. For the third obstacle that GE is gonna have to get through, he's gonna have to face one of his biggest fears. And you'll see what it is in just a second. First, we're gonna build a room with a little pit just like this. All right, and now with the room completed, we can now spawn in GE's biggest fear. I don't know if you guys know this, but GE is absolutely terrified of worms. And Oh my goodness, look how many worms are down there. That looks absolutely disgusting. But let's be real, guys. GE's reaction is gonna be so funny. And just to make things even funnier, we're gonna be making a fake parkour jump out of a ghost block. Just like that. And now when he goes to make this jump, he's just gonna fall right through into the pit of worms. Mwahaha. <laughs> Alright, enough messing around. The actual way that GE can get across is by finding this hidden chest disguised as a little plant. If he somehow right clicks this plant, he's gonna find this little ender pearl sitting right inside. And obviously, with this ender pearl, he can just use it to teleport to the other side. And now with the worm room completed we gotta hurry up and get out of here because these worms are looking extra hungry for my next obstacle i have a super cool idea that involves huggy wuggy but before i can build it i'm gonna go troll ge real quick and guys i have the perfect prank so let me just fly up to the wall over here and open up this chest and we'll grab this huggy wuggy spawn egg and a splash potion of invisibility and oh my goodness guys look at that ge is building right over there wow my dog day build is turning out amazing i'm definitely gonna beat bubbles he's gonna beat me no way let me hurry up and splash this invisibility potion and then i'm just gonna fly right over to him to troll him. Do, 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 do. I'm almost finished. Wait, he's almost finished. We gotta move quick. Let's just go right behind him and spawn in a whole bunch of these huggy wuggies. And wait a second. What the heck is that sound? And ah, what the heck? Is that huggy wuggy? And no way. He just boxed himself in. Oh, nah. I can't even get out. <laughs> <laughs> G must have been super scared, but while he's busy respawning, I'm just gonna go in my inventory and grab a bazooka real quick. And then we're just gonna blow up his build. Run away, run away, run away. That was super duper weird, but let me just fly back to my bit and what the heck just happened who just destroyed my build no way guys g noticed huggy wuggy was it you get out of here oh my god he's literally shooting at the huggy wuggies this is super bad and we only have five minutes left to fix this build i do not have a lot of time wait a second five minutes what the i gotta get back to my build go 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 all right we don't have much time left so we gotta build this fast and if you remember what i told you this trap is gonna involve huggy wuggy we're gonna be putting down a little lever right inside of the room with the sign on top that says pull for free emeralds but obviously it's gonna be giving him zero emeralds and instead it's gonna spawn in this super scary huggy wuggy oh my god he looks super terrifying and once he's spawned in he's gonna automatically start chasing ge the only way he'll be able to escape is by running through a series of events just like in the game and not to make things harder but once he reaches this point he's gonna have to pick if he wants to make a right turn or a left turn and obviously one is gonna be a dead end so i guess i am making things a little bit harder we'll make this left turn over here the dead end he's gonna think that he has somewhere to go but the nope it's gonna be completely blocked off. Then for the right turn over here, it's just gonna lead him to the next room where he's gonna be completely safe from Huggy Wuggy. I think this has to be one of my most interesting traps yet, so make sure to stick around to see Huggy Wuggy chase GE around the vent. Wait a second, we only have two minutes left. I gotta build my next trap fast. All right, for my next obstacle, GE better have his reaction time ready. And you might be wondering why, and it's because he's gonna have to do some water bucket clutching. And I know that doesn't sound like anything crazy, but just wait, I'm gonna put a little twist to it. First, let's build out the massive tunnels that GE's gonna have to jump down into. We gotta make sure it's deep enough so that if he misses the water bucket clutch, he's gonna get punished. And alright, now that I'm done with both of these drops, I can tell you guys what I was planning. So because the color blue is way better than green, on the blue side, we're just gonna put an actual bucket of water. As for the stinky green side, we're gonna give him a fake bucket of water. The water inside of this bucket is actually super poisonous, and when he uses it to clutch, he's gonna get absolutely destroyed. We'll see if GE is smart enough to not pick the poisonous water. But now that we're done with this water bucket clutch area, we can move on to building the last and final obstacle. And if you guys didn't know already, it's time for him to pick if he wants the emerald treasure or the diamond treasure. Treasure. Let's set up some super secure doors to make sure that he can't see what's behind them. And come on, guys, I think we already know which side is gonna have the best prize. And I think we also know which side is gonna have a super deadly trap. So let's open up the door on the Emerald Treasure side and make our deadly trap. For this, I'm gonna have to spawn in a super evil chest. This chest might look super innocent and normal, but when you right click it, it's actually gonna come alive and then eat GE. Look at that. Oh my goodness, it does so much damage. Ah! I think it'll be super funny when GE falls for it. But now that the Emerald side is completed, we can move on to giving GE his actual prize on a diamond side.
side. We're gonna place a chest down and then fill it with a whole bunch of his favorite things. There we go, and just like that, our dog day build is completed. Wow, perfect timing. The timer just went off as well, which means that now we can meet up with GE and check out each other's builds. Hey, GE. Hey, Bubbles. Now that the timer's up, whose build are we checking out first? Well, since my build is definitely the absolute best, we should check out mine. Um, I don't know about that one, but let's see if you're right, GE. All right, check it out. This is my dog day build. What do you think? Hey, wait a second. I guess this is not bad. Of course it's not bad. It's amazing. I don't know about amazing, but GE, what is wrong with his face? He looks really derpy. Uh, uh, because dog day is really derpy, remember? That is definitely not true. He's supposed to be scary, but how do I even get inside your build? I'll give you a hint, Bubbles. I made it out of your favorite block. My favorite block? Hmm, it must be diamonds. Let me just look around for some blue. Let's see. And wait a second. I see the diamonds right over here. Good job, Bubbles. You actually found it. So now let's open it up. And whoa, there's a whole bunch of chests. Is this my prize? Yeah, Bubbles, but it's not going to be that easy. I put the prize inside of one of these chests and you're going to have to find it. In one of these chests, this is going to take forever. Well, I better start looking. And are you serious right now? Why is there a whole bunch of poop in this chest? Ha <laughs> ha, take it, Bubbles, take it. Ew, what the heck? Get that away from me. Ew. I swear, GE, if I open up another chest and there's poop in... Oh my god, GE, what the heck is wrong with you? <laughs> you know what? I don't even care about the poop. I just want to find my prize. Come on, come on. It's got to be in one of these chests. And GE, I think I found it because this is the only chest that I haven't opened yet. All right, so let's see what's inside. Come on, please be diamonds. Please. Uh, wait, 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 why am I in the void? Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Are you serious, Rainy OGE? Why did I just get teleported to the void? Because you just fell for the fake entrance, and this is your actual prize. Ew, what the heck? Oh. Well, GE, if this is the fake entrance, then where in the world is the real one? I don't know, Bubbles. You're just gonna have to find it. Oh my god. Is it in Dog Day Sun right over here? No. Nope. Oh, maybe it's inside of his other leg. And no. Not even close. GE, where in the world is his entrance? I can't find it anywhere. Hmm, you can't find it anywhere, then I'm not gonna tell you. Ha 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 ha. <laughs> Gee, please give me a hint. <laughs> oh, wait a second. I didn't think you'd actually cry. Fine, Bubbles. I guess I'll give you a hint, but only under one condition. <gasps> and what condition is that? Everyone watching the video still like and subscribe right now. Like and subscribe. Quick, guys. I really want to know where this real entrance is. Hit that like and subscribe button in three. Two, one. Thank you for subscribing. All right, G, they all did it. So now you have to tell me where it is. Wait, what? I didn't think they'd actually do it. Fine, Bubbles. I guess I'll show you. Just follow me. Oh, yeah. And I don't know how you didn't find it, Bubbles, because it's literally right over here. What the heck? This is so hidden. I would have never found it. But now let me just go inside. And, um, G, why am I in a room filled with a whole bunch of emeralds? Because now you're trapped inside of this emerald maze. And there's only one way to get out. Well, watch this, G. I'm going to get a first try right over here. And... Are you serious right now? This is already a dead end. Haha, <laughs> that was not the way out, buddy. Okay, then maybe it's over here. Oh, this has to be it. I feel like I'm getting really close. Come on, come on. And wait, I just fell in some lava. What the heck? I can't believe you actually fell for that, Bubbles. You should have saw the look in your face. Yeah, whatever, G. I just got unlucky. But now at least I know that it's over here. Let me just make my way through. And look at that. I found a door. Good job, Bubbles. You actually found it. But are you sure you want to open it? It's literally pink. I don't care if it's pink, G. Just get me out of this stinky emerald man. And, uh, uh, gee, what, what in the world is that? This is a mutant zombie, Bubbles, and you're gonna have to fight him. I'm gonna have to fight that huge Sigma? Mm-hmm. He's literally a rank 999 Sigma, so I'm gonna drop the walls in three, two, one. Hey, hey, wait, 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 G, please stop. Are you serious right now, Bubbles? What do you mean, stop? I literally have nothing. Give me some items. Are you serious right now, Bubbles? Did you literally not see this chest over here? Oh, um, I might have been a little bit too scared to see that, but let me just open it up real quick. And, brother. It's password protected. Haha, <laughs> I wouldn't make it that easy for you, my boy, but there is a bunch of buttons up on this wall. And if you click the right one, you're gonna get the password. Well, there's not too many buttons here, so it should be pretty easy. Let me just start clicking it. And GE, there's literally nothing happening. What the heck? Yeah, probably because you haven't pressed the right one yet. You're right. There are still a few left. There's a blue one and a green one. Mm-hmm. So which one are you gonna choose? Well, looking at both of our colors, the blue one is definitely better. So I'm gonna press it. And wait, what? How did I just die? Haha. <laughs> What the? Why would you make the blue one a trap? It's supposed to give me the password. No, it's not, Bubbles. Blue's the stinkiest color of all time, and let me prove it. Eww, this thing stinks. Gee, it does not smell bad. It literally smells like blueberries. How do you not like blueberries? Uh, because blueberries are mid, 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 but you still have one more button left, so are you gonna press it? Uh, I should have known you would have made the green one the right one. Let me just press it real quick and see what happens. 
And whoa, I just got a piece of paper with the code on it. Let me type in 1523. And wow, I just got a full set of experience armor and a flame dragon bone sword. And whoa, you look super duper cool now. Yep, mutant zombie, bring it on. All right, so I'm gonna drop the walls in three, two, one, fight. Let's go. And look at that G, I'm already setting him on fire. Wow, he's definitely taking a ton of damage right now. Yep, I think I'm gonna be winning this one. Yeah, but his punches are super strong. He just threw you up in the air. But I just killed him, G. I just got him. Uh, are you sure about that, Bubbles? Yeah, I'm sure. Uh, what the heck? Come on, come on, come on. I'm super low, please. And wait, I think I actually got him this time. Good job, Bubbles. You actually got him. And look, he just dropped his zombie head. Um, that's kind of cool, but also really disgusting at the same time. Let's get out of here. Good idea, Bubbles. And wait, what the, what is this? This is my water parkour, and you're gonna have to make it to the very end without falling in a single time. Um, G water parkour that's super duper easy even if i fall i'd survive we'll see about that bubbles can you finish it of course i can look at me g i'm already breezing through it yeah i guess you are but now you have a choice which jump are you gonna go in this one or that one well this one brings me closer to the exit so i'm just gonna jump right over here <gasps> What the? <laughs> um, GE, why does it say poisonous water in the chat right now? Because that's what it actually is. Poisonous water. Oh, no. That means I have to be extra careful now. I told you, Bubbles, but are you going to make the right jump this time? Of course I will. And I'm going to keep making the right ones for the rest of the way. And whoa, that was close. You just fell through that block. Yeah, well, I'm not going to fall through anymore. And uh, oh, no. GE, help me, help me, help me, please. No shot, you just fell again, Bubbles. Are you sure you're a parkour pro? Of course I am, GE. You know what they say, third time's the charm. Yeah, I guess they do say that, but let's see if you actually make it. I think I will, because this is the last jump. I just gotta bounce on this spring, and look at that, I made it. Wow, I guess you redeemed yourself, Bubbles, but now let's go press this button and move to the next section. Whoa, where did we just get teleported to? You just made it to my paraglider obstacle course. You're gonna have to go through every single ring without falling in the lava below. Paraglider? Uh, GE. That sounds really dangerous. Are you sure I can do this? Yeah, of course you can, Bubbles. You're gonna be fine. All right, whatever you say, I'm just gonna go for it. Come on. And whoa, look at that. I'm gliding right now. Wow, you're actually really good. Yeah, honestly, this is a piece of cake. And... Uh, wait, 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 come on, I'm gonna make this ring, please, come on, no! Ah! That was super close, Bubbles, but you're definitely gonna make it this time. You know what they say, second time's the charm. Um, GE, they literally say third time's the charm, but hopefully second time's the charm for me! And, uh, uh, GE, are you serious right now? <laughs> There's no way you just fell on the first ring. Um, I have no idea what you're talking about, you didn't see anything! Yeah, I guess third time's actually gonna be the charm for you, so can you make it? Of course I can, let me just glide through the first ring just like this, and look at that, GE, we're in flight! Nice job, Pilot Bubbles. And whoa, look at that. I only have one ring left. I think I'm gonna make it. Can you do it? And look at that. I made it through. Nice job, Bubbles. That was super awesome. But now, let's go open up this door and move to the next section. Let's go. And, uh, GE, what is this? You're gonna have to pick if you wanna go in the water or the lava. Before I pick which one I wanna go in, I'm gonna ask you a question, GE. Who in the world would wanna go inside of lava? Uh, a lot of people would, Bubbles. It's like a nice bubble bath. Yeah, if you wanna get turned into fried chicken. Are you serious, right now? bubbles that is not how it works but you have to make your decision so which one are you going in obviously i'm going in the water ge and oh wait why, why am i taking damage <laughs> oh my god was that your poisonous water again yep i can't believe you fell for it two times in a row bruh i just didn't expect it but now that i know that that's fake water then that has to be fake lava maybe it is bubbles so are you gonna go inside i think i'm gonna risk it come on and look at that i made it through good job bubbles i told you it wasn't gonna be bad but now that you're inside you can open up this chest. A chest? Is it my prize? And wait, it's a jetpack. That's pretty cool. But gee, what in the world am I gonna use this jetpack for? You'll figure out, Bubbles. Just follow me. And, uh, what the heck is that? There's a whole bunch of spikes above me. Yep, and you're gonna have to use that jetpack to get to the very top. Oh, that makes more sense. Let me just put it on real quick. And to be honest, gee, I've never flown a jetpack before, so this is really scary for me. <laughs> it's alright, Bubbles. I believe in you. Never back down. Never give up. And oh no, the spikes are getting me. The spikes are getting me, GE, and wait, I think I just saw the top. Come on, come on. And oh, 
Lee, moly, I just made it here with half a heart. Good thing you didn't touch another spike bubbles. Here, take this golden apple. Oh, I'm literally scratched up everywhere, but I'm glad I made it. Yup, and now that you're at the top, you're gonna have to choose which treasure are you picking? The green treasure or the blue treasure? You've been asking me some pretty obvious questions, GE. Let me ask you, what color am I? Uh, blue. So then what side do you think I'm gonna pick? The green side. Bruh. Obviously, I'm gonna pick the blue because I'm literally blue. Fine, whatever, Bubbles. I guess you can open up that chest. Yeah, and blue also means diamonds, which is probably in this chest. And uh, there's nothing in here. And what is that sound? Oh, what is that? <laughs> what the heck, GE? I literally just got turned to stone by Medusa. Yeah, you did. I can't believe you fell for that. But wait a second. Do you think we could break this open? I don't know, but we can try. All right, here, Bubbles. Take this pickaxe. Thanks, GE. Let me just break it real quick. Come on, come on. And... <laughs> Uh, G, G, what in the world is that? Um, what the what, Bubbles? Is that yours? Ew, no, that would never be mine. I think that's literally yours. How in the world is that mine? I did not get turned into stone. Okay, but I'm right over here, so it can't be mine. Oh my gosh. Okay, it's fine. It's neither of ours. Get out of here. Ew, that was really nasty, but there was literally nothing in that chest. Does that mean I have to open up the green side? Yeah, of course you do, Bubbles, because green is amazing. Ew, it literally looks like vegetables in here, but I guess I'll open it up. All right, so let's see. Come on, please be diamonds, please be diamonds. Oh, whoa, holy moly, there's a whole bunch of diamonds. I'm super duper rich now. Let's go. But wait a second, GE, now that I've checked out your build, do you want to check out mine? Yeah, of course I do, Bubbles. Let's go. Whee. When can I turn around? You can turn around in three, two, one, turn around. And what the heck? Don't you just love my super scary and amazing dog day? This build is absolutely massive. How did you build this in 10 minutes? Because I'm a Minecraft professional. Okay, I didn't know about that, buddy, but this build is super tall. So how in the world do I even get inside this thing? I'll give you a hint, GE. It's your favorite color. My favorite color? So green. But wait a second. I don't really see that much green on this build. Trust me, GE. It's there. You just got to look really close. Maybe it's this green right over here. No, GE. That's too dark. Dark. Uh, ooh, ooh, okay, that's not gonna do it. There's a bunch of green spots on this build, but not really a bunch of green. Well, GE, maybe you should look right behind you. And wait, what? Oh, there was something inside of his mouth the whole time. Yep, I have no idea how you didn't see that. I don't know either, but let me just open up these doors right over here. And wait a second, what is this? That's a webhook launcher that's gonna turn you into Spider-Man, and you're gonna have to use it to swing across this lava. Well, Spider-Man is my favorite superhero, so let me just take this right over here and then shoot it on the other side of that wall. And whoa, it actually works. Nice job, GE. You literally got that in one try. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. And now I guess you could collect your super amazing prize. All right, so let me just open it up real quick. And wait a second. Ah, is that Foxy Boo? Get him. Get out of here. And wait a second. Why is he not burning? Oh no. And look at that, GE. You just got destroyed. And are you serious right now, Boxy Boo? That was so not funny. Yeah, I can't believe you just fell from my fake entrance. GE. But wait, if this is a fake entrance, then where in the world do I find the real one? You're gonna have to go find it yourself. Oh my gosh. Maybe it's inside of his ear and no. Nope. Or maybe it's inside of his big brown belt and ugh. Not even close. And are you serious, Daniel Bubbles? I can't find this anywhere. Can you please give me a hint? Yeah, of course, GE. It's right inside of nowhere. Wait, what? Uh, are you serious, Daniel Bubbles? Are you sure you don't want to tell me? Oh, uh, what the heck, GE? Put that away. I'll tell you where it is. Oh my god. Okay, okay, GE, just follow me, just follow me. <laughs> and I don't know how you couldn't find it. It's right inside of his zipper. And wait a second, what the heck? How in the world was I supposed to find this? Uh, yeah, I guess it was pretty hidden, but welcome to the first obstacle. This is a Poppy Playtime toy factory. You're gonna have to decide which toy machine you want to go inside of. Let me think about this. There's a yellow tunnel and a red tunnel, but the yellow tunnel is closer to the green, so I'm gonna go inside the yellow one. Let's go. All right, let's see where it takes you. And wait a second, what the heck is this? What the heck? Haha, <laughs> you're getting burned in my lava spikes. <laughs> that was hilarious. I can't believe you picked the yellow one. Red is way better. Are you serious, Rainio Bubbles? Fine, I guess I'll go inside of the red tunnel, but a green tunnel would have been way better. Nah. -uh. Well, let me see where this tunnel's gonna take me and uh go. What the heck is this, Bubbles? This is a super powerful troll, and you're gonna have to fight him. I'm gonna have to fight him? Oh no, nah. I literally have nothing except for this. Ew, what the heck? Get that away from me. Just for that, GE. I'm gonna drop the walls in three, two, one. No, 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 no. Don't drop it. Don't drop it. Yeah, that's what I thought, GE. You better keep that poop away from me. Oh my, yeah, whatever, Bubbles. Let me just try opening this chest over here and... 
Are you serious right now? It's password protected. Haha, <laughs> you did it to me, so I'm doing it to you. But to figure out the password instead of pressing buttons, you're gonna have to pick which lever you wanna pull. Yeah, uh oh, Bubbles, I am not doing that. Let me just try and guess the password. Let me type in 1111 and oh my gosh. Nope. Maybe 1234. Brother, you're not even close. Nah, Bubbles, I know exactly how you think, and I'm gonna guess your password right now. Let me just type in the most elaborate code ever made in mankind. 987. Six. Um, dude, that's literally not even close to the password. The only way you're gonna figure it out is by pulling one of these levers. All right, fine, Bubbles. I guess I'll pull this lever right over here. And wait a second. Oh, uh, what the heck? What the heck? Get him, troll. Get him. Are you serious right now? Ha <laughs> ha. There's no way you just picked the wrong lever, G. That was hilarious. That was so not funny, Bubbles. He was about to eat me. Yeah, and he's gonna eat you again if you don't hurry up and get your gear. All right, so this lever has to be the code. So let me just pull it. And whoa. Oh, this paper says 5544. So let me just type it in real quick, just like this. And whoa, there's a bunch of emerald armor and this emerald sword. It's all for you, GE. I look super drippy now, but Bubbles, I think I was still pretty close to guessing the code. Uh, I don't think so, but I'm gonna drop the walls in three, two, one, fight! Bring it on, troll, bring it on! Let me just start comboing you real quick, just like this. Come on, get GE! Haha, <laughs> you can't touch me, you can't touch me. Uh, he looks like he's literally destroying you, but... Uh, d did you just win? Yup, that was easy peasy. And look, he even dropped this tree trunk. Whoa, that is pretty cool, but he was a lot weaker than I thought. Yeah, or maybe I'm a lot stronger than you thought. But now, let's go open up this door and see what's next. And Jay, welcome into the room with your biggest fear, a whole bunch of worms. And what the? Worms? Yummy! Wait, why? I thought worms were your biggest fear. Uh, no, they're not, Bubbles. They're delicious. Oh my god, that is really nasty. But never mind that, you could just make this jump and move to the other side. Yeah, I guess I will, Bubble. So let me just make this jump right over here and wait a second. What the heck? What the heck? Get him. Oh, nah. Why did they just start attacking me? I just wanted some food. These worms don't look edible at all, but I guess you're gonna have to find another way to get across. All right, so let me just think really hard. Come on, G. How do I get across this pit? Are you gonna figure it out or no? And hmm, this plant looks really suspicious, so let me just try tapping on it real quick. And whoa, there's an ender pearl. Nice, G. You literally figured it out. Yup, and now I'm gonna make it across easy peasy. Come on, 360. And I made it. Whoa, that was pretty stylish of you, but now you can open up this door and move on to the next obstacle. And hold up, pull for free emeralds, Bubbles. Is this my prize? Yep, it's not actually an obstacle, and it's your reward. Let's go. I'm about to be super rich. And wait a second. Is that Huggy Wuggy? Ah! Get him, Huggy Wuggy, get him. Oh, nah, why is he chasing me? He's literally chasing you through the vents. And uh, gulp, I'm in a dead end. Haha, <laughs> get him, Huggy Wuggy, get him. Ah! I can't believe you just ran into a dead end with Huggy Wuggy, but if you actually want to make it out, you're going to have to make it through right Oh, nah, well, I'm not gonna mess it up this time. Get ready to get juked, Huggy Wuggy. <laughs> Let's see if you can do it, GE. He's right behind you. And wait a second. There's a door over here. Let me just open it up. And no way. You actually did it. You escaped Huggy Wuggy. Yeah, you're way too tall, buddy. Get out of here. <laughs> Good work, GE. That was easy peasy, but wait a second. What do we have over here? This is a room where you're gonna have to water bucket clutch. Are you gonna water bucket clutch on the green side or the blue side? Well, that's super duper obvious, Bubbles. Obviously, I'm gonna choose the green side. Good choice, G. Now you can grab the bucket and water bucket clutch. Let's go. This is gonna be a piece of cake. And look, this bucket even has the letter G on it. Yeah, that's definitely the letter G. All right, prepare to be amazed, Bubbles. This is gonna be the best MLG water clutch in history. Hi-yah-yah-yah-yah-yah-yah! Are you serious right now? Brother, you didn't even make the clutch. I think something's wrong with the server, Bubbles, because how in the world did I not make it down there? I have no idea, but it doesn't matter anyway, because that was some poisonous water. Really? dude that's super unfair but luckily there still is this really stinky blue tunnel so let me just take this water bucket right over here and let's see if you can make the clutch ge i definitely am and i'm gonna spin three times in the air get ready one two three Three. Holy moly, you actually did it. Yeah, because I'm built different, Bubbles. I guess you are. You redeemed yourself from the other side. But now you can open up this door and move on to the last and final obstacle. And I feel like this is going to be a pretty easy decision for you. Are you going to open up the emerald treasure or open up the diamond treasure? Hmm, well, that's a really easy decision. I'm going to choose the diamond treasure if I wasn't a baby. <laughs> what the heck, GE? Well, I guess you could go through the emerald one then. Let's go. And now I'm going to open up my prize. And look at that. The prize is super cool. 
cool. And wait a second. What the heck is this? <laughs> it's the best prize ever. Are you serious, Rainio Bubbles? That was not the best prize ever. That chest had a bunch of teeth on it. Yeah, and it literally ate you alive. And that's why I'm saying, GE, the diamond treasure is way better. Yeah, uh-uh, Bubbles. That emerald treasure would have been way better if it wasn't from Ohio. Yeah, well, once you open up the chest inside, you'll realize how good this side is. Yeah, I don't know about that, Bubbles. We'll see about it. Let me just open up this door over here. And this better not be no moving chest again. Just open it, GE. Look at that chest in all of its glory. We'll see about that, Bubbles. Let me just open it up real quick. And whoa, there's a bunch of emeralds and poisonous potatoes. All of your favorite things. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Well, now that we've checked out each other's builds, whose do you think is better? Well, looking carefully at both of your builds, I think that mine was way better. What? No way. Mine is way better. Wait, what? Then who wins? Hmm, that's a good question. I guess we'll have to let the comments decide. Everyone comment GE. No, everyone comment Bubbles. But if you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. And if you want to see another one of our adventures, then click the video on screen. Go click it, click it, click it. Bye. Bye. I need the max win.